Hey guys, Hippos here with a quick uh, rundown on a few tips for cat rig uh, in case you need these features. Now the first one is just very simple that normally to create a cat rig you go here and you gotta actually go to like uh, I think it's systems and then or you go to helpers and then it's their cat objects in there and it's kinda of, kinda of be kinda of hard to remember that so I threw it up on my own custom menu that I've got all my own scripts and little hotkeys for import and export and stuff and backface call and things like that. I threw it up there because it's just so much easier and it just gave it an icon of a little man. Okay, and then it pops right up. So you can drag it out just like normal. Make it as big as you want, I suppose. And as big as your character, right? And let's just zero him out. Now the first thing I want to make sure that everybody is absolutely 100% aware of is that when a cat rig is created in default, like if I create, let's say, a box and I check its rotation in world axis, it's at zero, zero, 0, However, if we look at the cat rig, it is not zero, zero, 0, It's negative 180 by negative 90, and if we go zero, zero, 0, it goes on its side. So, uh, it's a very strange rotation in the beginning. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to face him down the X because Unreal would want to do that. So, try to keep your characters facing down the X if you can. It's not that big of a deal to not do that, but uh, X forward is uh, forward progress in Unreal's world, so uh, I would try to adhere to it. Uh, the next tip is to get root motion out of cat rigs, uh, do not create your own bone and try to link to it, um, like a pyramid or a box or a, or a bone or anything. And the reason is is because that does not benefit from the cat rigs layering system. And there is a built-in system within Cat that actually takes care of this. Now, the way it's supposed to work is you're supposed to do all of your animations and then turn this on as you export. You don't do this while you animate. It, things get real squirrely real fast. So I'm just going to demo it real quick, and I'll show you how it works. All right. So right now, the root of our object is, in fact, the pelvis. So if we add a motion layer, we can get a run cycle out of this real quick. I'll pop that open and we'll just go to the presets and we'll say game character run and we'll load it to the existing layer okay we'll make sure we hit play here so we can see it and there he goes right he's jogging along and we can say walk on a line check the plant okay good good foot plants and everything it's all perfect we, we don't really ever have to worry about it but let's just say I just kinda wanna slow him down I mean, he's running, that's probably too slow, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I don't want him running 10 miles down the road, okay? So I'm just going to slow him down by changing it so that he takes, uh, you know, 100 frames to do a full cycle. So at frame 100, he's going to be in that exact pose again. He's just going to be more forward. If you look, the yellow foot here is forward. Go over here, it's in the same exact pose, okay? So what we'll notice is that during this motion cycle this pelvis bone if we look at that from the right if we look at it from the right and I hit play here you can see that it's b going up and down rather dramatically it's just boing 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 now root motion uh, applied to something that's doing this kind of like sine wavish bouncy up and down or doing a lot of other crazy stuff uh, can get a little funky and be hard to deal with when it comes to blending into other animations and things like that. You can get the character actually shifting around and things can get weird. You get the feet sinking in and stuff like that. And the reason is, is because this thing's moving up and down so you blend it back to idle. Well, idle might be, this might be way in a, in a weird cycle that sends it up while idle sending it down at the wrong moment and all the other things try to fall in line in relation to the pelvis and it's, it, it can become a problem, okay? Um, the, the actual fact that it's moving up and down is not going to cause the character's uh, collision cylinder, the actor, to move up and down. So the way root motion works, I'm just going to explain it as quickly as I can, is that basically whatever animation you have on the root bone of your um, object, or whichever one you tell the root motion system to use, um, it will extract that animation, remove it from that bone, and however it will store it so that it can apply it to the character when that animation plays. In fact, so any movement from that bone or rotation and things like that gets sent to the actor. Now I believe things like pitch and roll get ignored by the actor because it won't um, 
you know, it, it has kind of an upright thing. However, in some cases, I don't believe that's true. Now, gravity will act as a ceiling to stop the cylinder from getting moved up when this thing gets translated into up input during this phase. Right now it's going down, but I'm just reversing it, okay? Because I don't want him to move off the screen. I have to move him over here. So he's coming up here, right? So that up mo uh, motion there is going to get negated by gravity because he's normally he's going to be in the movement mode walk, which causes him to be put on the ground, which basically kind of ignores any up inputs. Okay. As soon as you set him to flying, however, at this point now I believe that the capsule is going to start moving up and down with him, okay? which may or may not be something that you desire. Okay. So what we have is a way to extract this motion and it is only available on the hub. Okay? and it is in the modify tab and it is called the motion extraction node and what you do is you click on it you can kinda do I, I turn that off for no reason um, we can come here it's on and I'll say motion extraction node boom and you'll see I get this other arrow here it is actually called base human transform now if you're wondering why it's called base human it's because with this guy selected uh, the name of this guy's base human but we'll call him Harry right? and we just you know, make sure that gets updated and everything okay so Harry pelvis this hasn't been updated yet apparently so maybe if I turn it off and then back on then we get Harry transform and you'll see that it automatically parented Harry pelvis which was our original root to the new Harry transform you also see that even though this thing is a funny looking arrow it's actually registering as a bone the same as Harry pelvis is. This icon right here in Max is a bone, okay? It's actually showing like three bones. It's supposed to be an arm, okay? Just think of it as like an arm, shoulder, elbow, wrist, right? So it's, it's now a bone. And here's the other beauty. If we look now, this is following the animation, but it's sticking to the ground. And if you're paying attention to the entire screen, you'll see there's a checkbox for that. And if I uncheck it, you'll see that I can actually get that out if I want. I can take the up movement if I want. So like I said, if it's desirable that the cylinder move up, um, which like I'm saying it ain't going to do unless the character is not in walking mode, so it's going to be real strange, but if this was some other type of character that was not a human running on the ground, was maybe some kind of robotic creature running on the side of a wall or something, or on the ceiling and you wanted to capture some of this kind of movement, you could, okay, simply, alright. So I'll say rest on ground, alright. And there we go. There Now I have a, a node that's perfect. It doesn't bounce up and down. It maintains an origin at the floor. Okay. And it's following the animation exactly wherever he's supposed to go. So, what we do is we can now export basically based on this. So all I gotta do to get this skeleton is select this um, the, the transform and everything below it. So I can either click here and hit control page down to get it all of its children as well or I can just click it on the list over here uh, making sure that when you click select here that this is checked I wouldn't ever hit this hotkey by the way I don't trust that hotkey for that but uh, if you just check that uh, and that's all you gotta do to get it out Th that by the way it only affects this selecting in here in the list okay so it'll give me all the bones and there's my export boom export animation done it's got root motion as soon as you check use root motion in UE4 you will see that the character will no longer be moving down the animation he will now look like he's running in place and however now when you move when you run as the character you should see fairly consistent movement